Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Well today we've got a new release from Divi and they've just released some advanced gradient builders and you can get some amazing effects and this update has been added in Divi version 4.16.0 so update your Divi to that version and I'll show you how these work and they are phenomenal so let's get started I'm going to enable the visual builder and let's go down and we'll work on this little top section right here I'm going to make it a little bit bigger for a start up that a little bit more okay so we've got a section here I've got a, just a little regular gradient in there if we go over to our content settings and down to background here we'll find our regular background settings we've got color gradient image video background pattern and background mask and you can combine a lot of these things together and I'll show you how to do that a bit later on so let's go to the gradient right now I just got a regular gradient that's slightly blue and slightly white let's get rid of that and we'll start from scratch so I'm gonna add a background gradient here there's a sort of de default color for us just to click on the color if you need to change it and click on the green there if you want to change it to a different color and right out of the box we can start adding extra colors so just click on the line and it'll turn into a plus for you and click on the color you want to put there and you can go on adding colors there we go and then you can start moving these around to change where they are obviously and how much they're affecting things here that's adding colors and like I say you can add as many or as few as you want well obviously it's not going to be a gradient if you just got one on there but anything above two gradient type they've added a few different styles here if I click on that they've got circular which they had before which emanates out from the middle obviously and again you can sort of move these around and tweak them however you wish and of course you can position it center top left right middle bottom bottom etc like that I'm quite happy to have mine for the center for the time being and if you want you can make the gradient repeat so there's more of one of them and you can also change the gradient unit value of what it uses from pixels to font size root level x height zero width pickers points centimeters millimeters inches as you can see there's plenty to choose from there We've also got elliptical, which is kind of nice. And if you choose your style there, you can you can make all kind of things happen. We'll put that back to percent again. And we've also got a conical one, which you can make all kind of different patterns going on with your colors here. Flip it around to whatever works for you. As you can see, the possibilities are fairly endless right there. Like I mentioned earlier, we can mix these gradients with other things. You can mix them with the image background, background patterns and masks. So let's throw an image in there. I've got one with stars there now if we roll down on our image while we're in the image we can blend it with our background here multiply it with the gradient like that and get some very interesting effects that way using our blend mode here And if we go back to the actual gradient itself 
You can choose to place the gradient above the image or behind the image. It gives it varying different degrees there. And as I mentioned earlier, you can blend other things with it as well. We can add a background pattern also if we want to. Let's make that white so we can see the actual polka dots. Let's add a little pattern there. And of course you can take the opacity of the color down or blend it to whatever you want to see there. So it's sort of slightly in the background just a little bit. And you can change the size, the position, etc. I'm going to leave mine just like that. Let's go back to our gradient here. I'm going to flip it from our conical back to an elliptical, I think. There we go, we've got something like that. And now you can actually go over and you can apply a background mask if you want to. Go over to the background mask. And again, they've just added these. You can add all kinds of shapes. Do things like that and there's plenty to choose from right here but I was pretty happy with the gradient and pattern there so I'm going to remove our little mask right there I'm going to remove the image and we were left with this I think I might just swap those colors around a bit. Take that blue up to the end. Maybe put the purple at the beginning. There we go, you can see that quite nicely. Save our changes now. And we'll have a look on the front end. Save the page changes. And exit the visual builder. And there we have it. That's pretty over the top, but it just gives you an example of what you can do. And our little hover effect is still going to work there for our amazing title. But like I say, that's the new advanced gradient that they've just brought out today. And as you can see, you can get some crazy effects. We've got some background dividers moving on top of that one. And as I mentioned before, they have just added this on Divi 4.16.0. And we're about 31st of March 2022 today, so upgrade and you'll find your new gradient features there for you. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.